Hi everyone. If you've uh, logged into Mahara before, you'll be familiar with this screen. Um, however, if not, um, all you need to do to get into Mahara is log into uh, Moodle, moodle.fsd38.ab.ca. Um, click the link on the Moodle page that uh, shows Mahara, which if you're on the main Moodle page is this link right here. And that'll take you to a screen that looks just like this. Mahara is an ePortfolio tool and it contains basically three main uh, ways to work with your um, with your artifacts. The first way is in the creation and collection of uh, artifact items. This can be anything from um, videos that uh, represent some of the, the good work you've done to journal entries to your own profile information or even uh, using uh, Mahara's very powerful resume tool. This uh, create and collect section is uh, unique to you um, and nobody can see it unless you import any of this, or this into your portfolio. So you can almost think of that as a, a personal H drive. The second piece is the organization or building of your portfolio. This lets you um, take your portfolio artifacts, those that you've put together in your Create and Collect section, and, um, and build web pages out of them, which you can share with multiple audiences um, in the form of a portfolio. The third piece is the sharing and networking. With those pages that you've built, or even collections of pages, websites if you like, you have the ability to choose who and when um, those items are shared. So just as a point of uh, explanation, let's, uh, let's actually drop into the Create and Collect section and we'll just add some content. So first of all, let's go to Files. So I'm going to drop in here where it says Upload My Files, so I'll click on that icon. Uh, you can see I have one file here, but I'd like to add some more. So I'm going to um, just click Choose File and it um, doesn't really matter which, uh, which file I choose. Um, so I've chosen to upload a uh, PowerPoint presentation and you see a little wheel turn and the check mark tells me that, that file has been uploaded. At this point in time um, all I've got is just a collection of files. Um, I can absolutely create folders so this is um, you know, maybe folder 1 and I can uh, go ahead and, and add things to it. I can even drag this um, into that folder and it'll just drop right in there. Um, and once I'm in there you'll see that there is a little pen here that I can use to edit some of the, some of the properties of that object. So when I do I can say okay well this, this is the file I've uploaded. Um, I can choose what it's called, so maybe um, instead of calling it DL to FAA, I can say that this is my DL presentation. And that's just so that in, when it's up on the main website, it's clear what it is. And I can add a description. And I can even add some meta tags. Uh, meta tags, if you're not familiar, are just keywords which allow you to group content on your uh, in your portfolio together. So for example I might say that that is a PowerPoint and so in my portfolio when I view it I have the opportunity to click on PowerPoint and show me anything else that includes that PowerPoint tag. The last piece is do I want to allow comments so if I'm sharing this with uh, my classmates or my teacher I'd like to get some feedback on it so sure I'll say yes I can. I'm going to take some comments on that and I'm going to hit save changes. As you can see at the top of the screen there are a number of ways you can actually um, work with this information so you can say that there's the file section that I'm in right now but there's also a profile section, so if I click on profile, you'll see that uh, I can choose a profile icon. I can um, edit my contact information, so maybe my official website address or personal website address. Um, here, I'll do my blog as um, the 
Techie Tips blog. Um, I can even put some messaging information like my ICQ number, my uh, Skype username, and even just some general information like what my occupation, what industry I work in. Again, this is only in my personal H drive. This isn't visible to anybody until, um, until I choose it to be. Um, I can upload multiple pictures, so you can see I've uh, uploaded this as my profile icon, but I can go ahead and add other pieces. Um, under files, uh, you can see is where I've been working with the uh, folders. Uh, there's a journal which uh, can actually function very much like a uh, blog, so I can say um, I would like a new uh, journal entry. Um, Um, and attach files to that and, and save that. And um, I can add a resume or I can even um, create uh, a plan and put uh, uh, benchmarks which I can check off as I go, which I'll also I can share to that portfolio. Once you've added some content, the next step is to actually arrange it in the form of a portfolio. If I go uh, to the Portfolio um, tab, either by clicking the um, uh, Collect button on the front or at the top of the screen just choosing Portfolio, you're taken to a screen where you can see um, all of your portfolio views. Um, you can have as many different uh, portfolio pages as you like. Um, and you can even, as you see here with collections, you can even group those pages together and share them all at the same time. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a page. So I'll click the Create a Page button. And when I do, it takes me to this uh, screen. So you can see my page is currently called Untitled. Um, I'm on the Edit Content tab, but I can also edit the title and description, which I'll do right now. So I'll just click Edit and maybe call this um, Demonstration portfolio. And again, this is uh, a unique ver portfolio for whoever I choose to save it with. I can add descriptions and tags. I won't right now. So I'll save that. Um, I can set my layout. So if I go click Edit Layout, you can see um, in some cases you might want to have everything in a nice big wide flat layout. Um, my personal preference is for this one here where you have a narrow column on the left and a larger column on the right. So I'm just going to select that and um, go ahead and push save. And now I've got the general settings of my portfolio ready to go, so I want to start adding some content to it. So you'll see I'm now on the Edit Content tab, and I have a choice for External Content, Files, Images, and Video, General, Journals, Profile, and Resume. And within each of them, there are multiple um, objects that I can bring into my uh, portfolio. So probably the logical place to start would be my profile information. So let's actually just click on that. And I'd like to actually bring my profile onto the page. So I'm just going to literally grab my profile information and drag it down. You can see if I move it on the left, I get the little box. On the right, I get the big box. I want this on the left. And I just let go of it. It's going to take me to a setting screen where I can choose what the block title is going to be called and what information I want to display. So maybe I'll just show my first name, my last name, and my email address, and, um, and my profile icon. So once I've selected that, I can just scroll down and push Save. And you can see immediately on the left side, although as you can see I haven't actually added much information onto this particular uh, profile page, um, that profile is now embedded within my, um, my portfolio, which is basically this white area you see here. I'd also like to uh, add that uh, journal entry I made, so I'm going to go into journals, and I'm going to say I'd like to show a recent journal entry, so I'll just drag that down, I'll put that here, and it um, doesn't really matter uh, which journal I'm, I'd like to, uh, to show, but um, I'm going to show this one here. So I'll just hit Save, and there's my journal entries. Um, 
I might like to uh, add my resume. So if I click the resume, there's nothing in here on this uh, view, but if I drag that down, it would uh, bring my resume onto this view. Um, the PowerPoint that I uploaded was a um, was a file, so I'll just go to Files and Images, and I can either just uh, display a whole folder or a file, or if um, I've uploaded a number of images into a folder, I can actually create a little slideshow by dragging this icon down. So I'm going to uh, bring in that one file, so I'll just go ahead and drag that down to my portfolio. Maybe I'll put it above my journal, and you can see it pushes the journal down. Um, it'll ask me which file I'd like to uh, show and I can either pick a file that's already in here so I'm just gonna go to my uh, folder and uh, there's my DL presentation so I'm gonna select that but I could also instead just choose file and upload directly to here and in import that as well and you can see it includes the uh, description so if I press save now um, you can see that that presentation is there as an artifact along with my comment and it actually also includes, uh, if somebody else is logged in, the ability to comment on it. And basically that's it for creating a portfolio. You can uh, create as many of these pages as you like, and as I said, you can group them together by going to your um, um, collections page. But the only other thing that I might do is just at the top here you can see theme. I'm going to actually change that because I find this theme a little bit boring so maybe I might go to something a bit darker and flashier uh, like aqua and you can see that the colors have changed. Once you're finished you can click done and it takes you back to your, uh, your main page. At any point you can just click on the link and it'll take you directly to it so hitting the pen is always your edit button. Um, but instead of that, what I'd like to do now is to actually share that with, uh, with my friends and family. Now, in a lot of cases, you're going to be sharing this with people that don't actually belong to Foothill School Division and therefore are going to have some troubles um, getting into uh, Moodle or getting into any of our servers because they don't have a login or password. With Mahara, they get around that by using what's called a secret link. And to add a secret link, it's very easy. You just go to the Share tab and you're under your portfolio. And it'll list all of the portfolios that you've built so far. So you can see there's my demonstration portfolio, which I just uh, created. Um, I can go to Edit Access, where I can add friends, or I can add uh, groups that I belong to, or um, even make the page public. But instead, I'd like to just create a secret URL. So I'm going to click this button right here. and Right now, there's no, no secret URL, so I'm just going to push Add. And right off the bat, it creates a secret link. Now, as long as this line is in my, underneath my secret URLs, um, that link will link to my portfolio. But if at any time I want to get rid of it, I can go over here and select the X to disable that link. And I can create as many of those as I like, and I can uh, share them with as many different people as I like, and then disable the, uh, the share just by Xing each version out as time goes on. However, um, this particular one I might be uh, sharing with somebody that only should have access to it for a day or two. Maybe a, a student is applying for a job at uh, Dairy Queen and um, uh, wants to show his prospective employer uh, some of his work. So what, uh, what I can do is if I go to the end of that, you'll see there's a pen, and if I click that pen, it gives me a new screen where I can choose when that link is available. So I can just click here and say I'd like that link available from today until tomorrow, and when that time expires, that link will no longer work. So now I can just highlight this copy it, paste it into an email, and then when uh, that uh, uh, student or parent clicks on it, they're taken immediately to the view of the portfolio that you just created. They don't have to log in, and they only have access as long as that link is valid. As always, if you have any questions on how to use this, uh, feel free to uh, give me a shout. Um, 
there's a number of different ways, and in future uh, uh, screencasts, I'll talk about some of the different ways that you can uh, share your portfolio.